This is a good one. Open water swimmers from around the world have taken the plunge in Istanbul as they race across the famous Bosphorus, dividing Asia to Europe. Nearly 2,000 people are taking part in the cross-continental competition. Now, they might have all varying, uh, varying levels of skill, but they all have one goal in mind, completing the six-kilometer stretch of water. Our Samantha Johnson is with the crowds along the Bosphorus. Well, the significance of this race is that it actually went ahead. I mean, you've got a race of this magnitude attracting so many people from around the world, 65 different countries, 2,000 competitors in this race, and it still went ahead. We know what happened last week with the belt coup. But again, Istanbul has put on one head of an event and attracted everybody from around the world. This is one of the major uh, open water events to happen in the top 10, in fact. They've even uh, closed the, uh, the shipping lanes. That's how big this race is. We know how many ships come up and down the Bosphorus. So this is, in fact, a very big deal. And of course, it's just brought back the feel-good factor to Istanbul as well. I mean, a lot of these competitors right now, I don't think they mind if they don't finish first second or third, the fact that they finished this race is a huge accompaniment. And the fact that Rio is just around the corner as well, it's a great opener because it's all about sport. Lately, there's been a quite a negative run-up to the games with the political uh, unrest in Brazil. You've got the Ziga bars, you've got the fact that the Russian athletes could be banned as well. But right now, it's all about these swimmers actually swim, uh, swimming and finishing uh, a fantastic, fantastic race.